Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. On our show, we normally cover transportation that has to do with convenience and efficiencies. But what if you were in a wheelchair? A lot of your transportation options are limited. So today, we've come to meet a company that's giving wheelchair users a bit more freedom. We're here with Stacy Zorn from Community Cars. Thanks so much for being with us today. Of course. Tell me about how Kenguru came to be. So I've had a disability my entire life. I've never been able to walk and I've been in a wheelchair. And so um, I drove when I was 19 a fully modified van that was $80,000. And after totaling it, after only a few months of having it, <laughs> um, <Whoops>. yeah, <laughs> uh, I haven't driven since. So um, like many people in wheelchairs, I've spent my entire adult life dependent on others, unable to get to the movie theater by mm. myself, you know, have to call my friends, hey, can you come pick me up and drop me back off? Yeah. Um, getting to the doctor, or grocery store, I mean, it's, it's all a challenge that's unnecessary. So I got online and I wanted to see if the technology had improved in the past 14 years. And that's when I came across the kangaroo on the internet. Their company had bad news that basically when the economy crashed, their bank pulled the loan and they were fundraising. The first thought I, I had was, how much money do you guys need? The one thing led to another and we were able to raise the money we needed. And what's the timeline we're looking at here? I made that call a little over two years ago. So it's, two years? it's happened to so It was like you, nothing was here and then in two years now you're yeah. totally loaded up and you've got a car company. Yeah. And 10 employees. Moving forward. Yeah. Top speed, 25 miles an hour, can go for 60 miles. Takes eight hours to fully charge, you get that A Little bit noisy the faster you get. It's got two, two kilowatt motors, one on each side. It's a rear wheel drive setup. The inside is very spacious, tons of room on the dash, plenty of room for my elbows. Little LED readout on the right here that's got all kinds of measurements. There's only a few buttons in here, you don't need much. You've got a forward, a neutral, and a reverse. You've got your red button here that if you hit is the engine kill. The steering wheel is a handlebar setup. Just use the right handle, pull it back, there you go. It's got great speed, a good pickup, I can maneuver around things, still feel confident. This is one of those things that is really fun. What's the reception been? It's been fantastic. I mean, we've taken this to trade shows all over the world. New York, Germany, Dubai, and everywhere. People are just so excited. We've got people on wait lists that want to buy them. I get emails from all over the world, places I've never heard of, that want to <laughs> buy a kangaroo. Yeah. There's a lot of incentives out there to help people purchase the vehicle. There's the green incentive at the federal and state level because it's electric. And then oh, wow. also, because it helps people get to work, there's vocational rehabilitation incentives out there too. So that takes $25,000 automobile down to what? In some cases 20, in some cases zero. A little bit of pickup here, feel it in the corner. Oh, a little bit of body roll, <laughs> a little bit of body roll on that. All right, okay, so, you know, maybe slow it down in the corners before you take them. You know, I gotta think this is such a great option for someone in a wheelchair. I mean, it gives you great mobility. It's easy to get in, easy to get out. It looks cool, very functional, and you know, the price is right on this. Plus, it's fun to drive. So what's the future for Kenguru? We are gonna be developing a joystick-driven model. It'll be a little bit bigger to accommodate the larger wheelchairs. It'll be easier uh, drive for people that have less upper body strength. Okay. Right now, there's dealers that we have in Germany, Spain, in the US that want to sign up, but we don't have enough funding to build more cars. It's an interesting problem to have as a startup company that we can't meet the demand there is out there. Yeah. Because we don't have enough money to buy the inventory to build the cars. Yes. Any thought on timeline with that? Hopefully soon, because I need the joystick model to drive, <laughs> so I'm still waiting. Right? Yeah. Oh, you don't even have one yet. I don't. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stacy. Thank you. Real blessing, yeah. Thanks. So that's the Kenguru, an affordable and empowering option to help wheelchair users move around. And with a waiting list a mile long, investors are lining up for an American success story that could really change lives. For TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.